you doing? We're back here in Renegade Platinum. The last episode we took on Fantina and made our way here to the Pokemon Mansion. Because there's some shit that's about to go down. We'll give you a quick team recap ski. So we have Ziggy the Starmie, Modest, Natural Cure, Recover, Water Pulse, Dazzling Gleam, Psychic. Then we got our downloading Adamant Mansoor with Thunderbolt, Hyper Beam, Signal Beam, and Psychic. And then we got our Jolly Overgrow, Lemmy the Tor Torterra. I almost called him a Tortuga. That would have been fucked up. With Rock Slide, Curse, Earthquake, and Seed Bomb. Then we got Jericho. Our rockhead wielding rash natured Rhydon with poison jab, crunch, rock slide, earthquake. And we just caught and evolved. Are you bold? Ugh, gross. Either way, we have Wild here, the Gallade. But he's gonna be a long. It's gonna be a long term uh, option. Alright, let's go fight these nerds. <laughs> Alright. Alright, leads a Murkrow. You're gonna get zigged with a Dazzling Gleam. Also, today's uh, drink choice, by the way, is Rockstar Endurance Marshmallow Flavor. Got like CoQ10, no sugar, BCAA aminos, and for those wondering, it's also vegan. I myself am not a vegan, but I thought it was cool that this was vegan. Haha! -ha! Quick healing! Healing! Uh, check out your garbage. Ooh, a protein. Alright, we're gonna fight this guy. <laughs> but yeah, lately I've been, like, on weirdly flavored energy drinks. So, like, your Monster Ultra Violets, anything from Bang. Like, that's kind of been my, like, shtick lately, as far as energy beverages. But these marshmallow ones, I mean, you don't have to like marshmallow flavoring, but it tastes really good, so definitely give it a try, guys. It's really good shit. And it's shit like this that keeps me going for... Okay! I see you, Dre. I see you, Dreano. I see you, bro. Making it psychic or er, poison dark. That would actually be a good addition to um Survivor, I feel. Poison dark be dope. It's like if they want to make that the Galar form, that'd be awesome. <laughs> but nah, I spoke on it a little bit in the previous episode, but the Galar forms are really cool so far. The ones that have been revealed anyway up to this recording. The only ones that were officially revealed were uh, Weezing and the Zigzagoon line at this point. And I'm, I'm gonna be real with you, Gentleman Weezing, I popped for. Like, like he's like a fan. It, but now here's what begs the question: Will coughing? 
have the Gallard form as well? Or will it be like a Raichu or Marowak situation where it's just the evolution that has it? But if we're being fairly honest, I would love to use Galarian Weezing in one of my teams. Like, that thing is just fucking gorgeous. <laughs> it really is. And then we got a gold, uh... But yeah, dude, like, and then, uh, I, I find it actually rather interesting. This is, again, up to the time of this recording, if you're watching this after Sword and Shield came out. All the love to you. hopefully you're enjoying the game. But, I like the idea that only the Galar form of Zigzagoon can evolve a third time. But that also makes me think, are they gonna backtrack and make a... Obstagoon for the Hoenn form. Because I think that would be pretty cool if they did that. Are they? Probably not. But. Okay, it'd be three of you in a row in six turns. I can one shot you in three. So I'll recover here, then water pulse you, recover, kill, because it said in six turns, no more, no less. So we'll go recover, move I'm going to hit you with, recover, move I'm going to hit you with, recover, move I'm going to hit you with. want six turns I'll give you six turns dog like this is easy clap oh yeah back to my point so um a Galar form I feel I'd love to see I'd like to see maybe a Johto Mon get a Galar form because this is proven again this is before Sword and Shield comes out they've proven that more than just one gen pool of Pokemon can get a Galar form, as you've seen with Weezing and Ziggy. So, okay. This one's gonna take three turns, I guess. Cause that Focus Sash right at the end kinda put a halt to my strategy a little bit. So now I gotta one-shot the next guy. Hopefully it's not Shedinja. I'm gonna have to do this again. Cause you know, Wonder Guard's a thing. <clears throat> I'm gonna lead with, uh, Lemmy next time. Really? Focus Sash uh, Shedinja? <coughs> Do I have a Pokemon that can set weather? But nah, two focus sashes ended up costing us the game there.
Okay. Let's lead Lemmy this time. Because I'm gonna, I'm just gonna try and one shot the Ninkata. So the goal is one shot here. Probably could just pop off an EQ and kill it. Because I'm like 20 levels above the thing, so. Alright, got the one shot there. This is also depending on if there's going to be a rock slide miss. So I can always seed bomb on the first turn. I can always do double seed bomb, so. Okay, that broke this. Okay, so that makes a sash irrelevant, so I can seed bomb again. And there, that would be three turns used. Your boy making the big, the big boy moves out here. We making grown man moves here. <clears throat> Two thousand IQ plays, chat. When Twitch bleeds into YouTube life. <laughs> Oh, man. I do that more often than I probably should. Alright, so... Because of Wonder Guard, only Rock Slide's gonna hit. Which it does. It's gonna pop the Focus Sash here. Now, this turn, I can afford to miss. Okay. So, if Rock Slide misses this turn, it's fine. But it's not gonna miss dubs. Got it. Five turns instead of six. <clears throat> it has to be six turns. Well, well, we have the <laughs> strat now. So, EQ, Seed Bomb, Seed Bomb, Rock Slide, Item, Rock Slide. Or I could use my item on the Ninjask, because two Seed Bombs will kill it. And I just need the two turns, but then again, relying on Rock Slide. <laughs> Like, it has to be exactly six turns to get this. It's kind of crazy. Do I have any HP healing? Alright, so here... Okay, we're gonna pop the Sash. Which is fine. It was gonna take two turns on the Ninjask anyway. Which is perfectly okay. Wow, we living, dog. <laughs> like, what? Alright, so I'm gonna heal up on turn one against the Shit Ninja, and then hope for two consecutive Rock Slide hits. Because we're now up to three turns. And we need to beat him in six. So. So 
here. I'm going to try to pop off the first rock slide. He missed. So now I got to two mo rock slides in a row. One to break Sash. There's the Sash Breaker. So that's turn number five. I cannot... Cannot miss now. Missing is out of the question. Damn it! Let's lead Jericho instead. Because that's guaranteed two turns. There we go. We're going to speed up through this shit again. First, we're going to lead with Jericho. Because Jericho's tailor made for this challenge. EQ. Little Ninke does not live in an EQ from a ride on. Okay. So that's turn number one. Little crunch, because he's got the focus. Crunch two. Crunch one to break the sash. A quick heel turn. Kappa. And then crunch. That should be six turns on the dot. Okay, Barry, Sean's there. All right. Wait a minute. Are you telling me this girl's got a manaphy egg? Oh, let me just drop that EQ. There we go. Dubs. Venom that. So I think it's Bug Psychic in Drayano Hex. So I'm gonna drop a crunch here. Either way, neutral. And then, and then a chabuck! <laughs> Give that one a crunch ski. No oh, it lived on one. All right, Arbok, I see you. Catch this EQ though. Like, catch this. What if there's a Galar Arbok? Like an actual Galar form Arbok. Because they made Weezing a Galar form. It would be fucking awesome if they made, like. Alright, you're gonna see a quick jump cut here. <laughs> I'll be right back. And we're back in. Sorry about that. <laughs> like. When nature calls, you do not. You do not tell her otherwise. Hey, I got Swagger, TM87. Oh, God. Oh, a Luxury Ball. Nice. I actually really like the Luxury Ball. So, 
so yeah, like <laughs> I did not intend for that to happen. Uh, yeet! <laughs> a lucky egg, nice. That's gonna be good for future grind sessions. All right, Sean, let's go fuck these people up. Doing a double battle here. Okay. Alright, time for the strats. Um, I'm gonna crunch the bronze off. Mr. Avia is gonna double team here. Alright, there's the crunch. Oh yeah, that's right, he removed Steel's resistance to dark in this game. Dark and ghost, I should say, with the uh, addition of fairy typing as well. Thunderbolt! <laughs> yeah, that story is not gonna like that too much. <laughs> yeah, get yeeted. Then we got Toxic Crow. And big Snorlax, okay. Um, we're gonna poison jab the Wigglytuff. Ow! Like, ow, man! Right, that should KO the Wigglytuff, though. Alright, 57, let's go. Bot slam! And then, back lot sent out an Espeon, so here we're gonna crunch the Espeon. He is doing the Protect. Ooh, he decided to go after Snorlax that turn. Maybe try to get easy KOs. Boing! <laughs> Up at Spadef. And he's got lefties, okay. We're still gonna go for Crunch on the Espeon. Are they gonna. Are they really doubling into the. They doubled into the Snorlax! Okay. Which is gonna allow me to get a free hit off on the Espeon. And that should be one done. And he's going to send out a Heracross. And Backlot sends out a Raichu. Okay. So now, I am I should be free and clear to just click Earthquake. Because I don't really care about his uh, Heracross too much. <laughs> he's not the one playing with Nuzlocke rules. Oh god. No. No. You've decided warrior's death. But now I need he Wait a minute. I forgot, dude. When I was doing the six turn thing, they killed off the Torterra. He's been my longest tenured party member, man. Oh. No. The only reason I made it out of that battle with Aaron is dead. 
Fuck. Well, team building's coming up, chat. Once we get this mission done. Ow, that's a thunderbolt. They they had to have doubled in on him. Or he had Oh no. We're now down to Porygon. The lock giveth and the lock taketh away. So all we have left now is the Porygon. Well we have Wild in party, but I'm gonna have to grind again. Sad day, chat. Sad day. Ugh. Here, I'm thinking I'm gonna make that out of that without casualties and shit. Okay, so we have the trophy garden as an encounter, and then we there he's gonna give us the mana fee egg. Trophy garden. They want me to one shot all of them. Um, I could come back and do that though. All right, we're gonna go get our encounter in the trophy garden. So now I have to replenish the team. It's a happening. I'm just gonna speed up Pokeball. Why don't I luxury ball it? Because it's a, oh, you bitch. Just gonna yeet balls, yeeting balls. STAY IN THE BALL, YOU FAT BASTARD! Thank you! And we're gonna name it... We're gonna name it Mixie. Okay. 
the other encounter would have been a choker dude. Oh hey, man if he eggs hatching. Let me make sure I'm spelling it right. Let me make sure I am spelling that right. I am spelling it right. We got Jamiroquai, the Manaphy now. So that's probably going to end up replacing Skarmy. Now I want to see if I can continue on to Pastoria from here. I cannot! Okay, so that part of the route's blocked off. So now we got to go the original way. So now we gotta head up to Salacion. All right. Already got our encounter here, so this thing can fuck right off. Shinies or nothing. I mean, all right. So we did get our encounters for 212 Trophy Garden. Oh, well, fuck out of here. I'm just trying to get back to the Pokemon Center. Please leave me alone. Oh God. Leave me alone, nerds! I'm sad, and I gotta put a lot of Pokemon in the death box. Leave me alone! Alright, here we are back in Hard Home City. So now we got a team build. Alright. So the happenings here. It has its oval stone already. So I think it needs to be holding that and level up to become Chansey. I'm not sure. I'll have to look at the documentation. Oh, it has quick claw, and in three levels it'll be a Persian. Now let's see here. First, we gotta take things into to the L's. Unfortunately, Jericho is no longer with us. And it was a shiny ride on, too. Ugh, oh, that kills me, man. Ziggy, who I was really starting to love in this, is deceased now as well. But the real big depressing point. Our Torterra, Lemmy the Torterra, who's been here since like episode two or th one or two, is unfortunately dead. So now we have now we have choices we need to make here. So we're gonna rock with the Manaphy that's currently in party. That's gonna be our water type. Um, you're too slow. And we just lost our grass type, so I could go. I could bring in Pete. I think I would name it after Pete Wins. Um, I'm a goof. I have two mixies now. We could bring in Lord Helix, but that's a rock and a water. I tell you what, we're going to bring in Barricat. 
Um. Um. The next gym up is fighting. Um, I'm gonna put Gallade in the box. So right now our party is looking like Mansoor, Manaphy, and Cubone. Um, let's bring in the Bulb. Get Grass Poison type in there. Then that's a good Walmon. I could bring in the Kranidos. But you know, there's other You know what? I'm going to I'm going to try Kranidos out. That gives me a pure rock type. Yes, is Evolution line is slow as shit, but the attack stats I get out of it will be nice. Alright, so that's an interesting team comp for now. Um, there's one thing I want to do. Excuse me. Before we head to Salacion Town. I do believe I should be able to get Spear Tomb relatively quick here. There's the Mart. Now, did I get the odd keystone already? I can buy 99 of those. I'll do another 99 just to be safe. We're gonna buy. Let's buy t 35. Now, do they have full heals here? Uh, no. Okay. So now, if I go back, do I have the odd keystone in in my inventory? Yes, I do. Ha <laughs> ha, yay. So we could set up Spiritomb. I, I don't know if it, because it's a Dryano hack. They changed it up to how you have to get him. I'm not entirely certain. Oh, hey, there's an item back here. That's a Mime Jr. I wouldn't have minded a Mime Jr. A Twisted Spoon. But I've pretty much caught all the things here. I can anyway. Gotta fight these nerds. The idea is. Oh god! Fuck! Um. If I had to sack one off, it would be Carson. I'm not. I went into a battle without thinking about the scrubs in my party. Oh god. <laughs> this was a bad idea. Woo! He's gonna level up kinda quick. Oh man. Talk about getting out of a bad situation. Oh god. Thank god that's a single battle. You have an Azuril. And the Cleffa. I'm a beam! Tundable. Let me just rip through this. Ugh. Oh god, it starts it off right away. Um, okay. 
so we're fighting Spiritomb now. Um, now I know I have the Renegade Platinum documentation here somewhere. Let me take a look at that before we get too far. Will it be Pokemon changes or special events? Let's look. Spirit Tomb. We can get. There's a odd keys from the underground. Okay. So you can get it in multiple. It doesn't say I can't repeat it. So I'm going to do a quick save state. We're going to test me running from it. Okay. That's unfortunate. So now we got to load our save state. And hope to God we catch it. That's going to, like, name him. I'm going to name him Alice. After legendary vocalist Alice Cooper. So now, let's hit that save. So we end this episode off on a good note with the capturing of Spirit Tomb. In the next one, we are going to move forward into Salacion Town. We got our Salacion Ruins encounter, a couple of routes. I could do all the way down to Pastoria 2, clear out all the encounters there. But I've got some grinding ahead, but we have the Grind House in so at the uh in salacion town so i can always do a shiny hunting grinding sesh too but <laughs> you never know all right with that being said this has been james ariel i hope you had a good day like comment subscribe follow the twitch channel down below and i will see you soon good day goodbye and good